How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech and today we're just going to take a quick little look at the Cooler Monster MM711. Now I have previously taken a look at the MM710. Pretty much the biggest difference between these two is that the MM711 does have RGB and is a tiny bit heavier. It's seven grams heavier and these mice are already like 53 grams for the 10 and then 60 grams sorry for my math for the 11 so let's just quickly open this one up and then see what we get now there is going to be a full review on the mm711 on we do take my main channel so stay tuned for that this is just a little unboxing and then some gameplay just to give you guys a quick look at this mouse now you will see that the mouse still has that honeycomb cutout which makes the mouse a lot lighter that's why it's only around 60 grams and it also actually doesn't reduce any of the durability for this mouse it's still nice and sturdy now you will also see that on this one you do have a cover here at the back i'm going to turn on the mouse now but that is where the rgb will shine through along with the uh or the scroll wheel here at the top so let's quickly plug it in and then quickly test it out but just quickly before that for the cable you do actually have that what what did they call it they call it the, the ultra weave cable and this is probably the best cable that i have used it is so smooth so light it is really good there's no flex going on i mean you can just twirl it around your finger and it's not going to do anything it's so good i do honestly like this cable so much so let's just quickly plug this one in and then go over the other features All right so there we go we do have a nice pink purplish color going on and i have to say it does look really nice it's nice and vibrant and with this back cover here just behind the uh, or the led it does actually help the light shine through a lot better so does look really nice now along with that also um i forgot to mention that this mouse is actually i still believe this one i'll have to check in the full review but i do believe that is also water resistance from around there downwards that was the same one same oh that was with the mm710 but with the led here maybe it's not water resistance anymore not that again i would really put the mouse under water even if it was a bit dirty now underneath the mouse you do still get the i believe it's called a ptfee glide pads which is honestly so smooth also one of the uh, better upgrades that they did along with the cable for this mouse and i do hope to see it more on other mice as well not just from cooler monster but just more mice in general then just finally before we get into some uh, gameplay you do have your two thumb buttons here on the side uh, pretty simple just like most other uh, mice they are programmable so you do have that and they do feel pretty good along with the left and right mouse clicks all right so now let's uh, quickly jump into some uh, gameplay test out the mouse and then just have some fun with it and then of course i am going to do the full review on the main channel so check out the link in the video description if you have not subscribed there <laughs> i can't select anybody wow wow okay that was 700 ping <laughs> okay <laughs> 800 ping <laughs> how am i on 800 ping holy <laughs> all right some, something happened holy okay okay i'm jumping around can we get somebody with 800 ping 200 it's better it's better uh, not entirely it's a bit down Come on. <laughs> oh, 
Yes! <laughs> oh my shit. <laughs> Alright, it's better now. 35. It went down a bit. I just need another weapon. Thanks. <laughs> it says 10 ping. But it's definitely not 10 ping. Alright, let's try another game, shall we? So after just playing some games and of course uh, doing it really badly, I have to say I'm actually looking forward to trying this one out. Now I am currently using the uh, the 710 right here on my setup. So yeah, I'm looking forward to testing this one out, comparing it maybe to the 10 as well. Honestly, not going to be that big of a difference. It's the 7 grams and then also just the RGB, but. Yeah, it does look uh, quite nice and also just around $10 or more. Currently, I don't have exact pricing for here in South Africa. It's not too bad, but of course, if you don't want RGB, just save the bit of money and then rather go for the 10. But if you want, here you go. Now, in the, of course, in the full review, I'm going to go over in a bit more in depth about the body, the shape, and then, of course, the RGB. Go show you guys some of the colors and the effects and all of that. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Big thanks to Coolmosh for sending this one over for a review while well, unboxing. And then the full review, again, will be up on the main channel. So check out the link in the video description. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.